I wasn't planning on doing this video yet. I was going to wait till the weather gets better, till the summer, so that I could drive it properly. But it's the start of the Formula One season. <laughs> and before we go on, we're just going to roll back to summer last year when I was doing a video with Kev and we went to Redfin Models. I've wanted that Formula One car for a long while, and now Jason said I can buy it. Whoa! <laughs> How much is this one? Uh, 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 no, I've just agreed to buy it. How much have you agreed to buy it? Uh, sequel. <laughs> anyway, get your fingers off for that. I'm having that one. Yeah, you're not a proper F1. There we go. That's mine. I'm having it before Phil gets hold of it. Well, finally, after searching for a very long time, I've got one. Well, I say searching. I actually got an email of someone saying, I've got one of these. Well, they had more than one of them. Would you like to buy it? And the first email I got was in my junk mail. I read it forgot to reply to it, and then after like 30 days, everything just gets deleted. So when I remembered about it, I went back into there and I'd lost it. Thankfully, another email came through a few months later, and well, here it is. This is a 1 7 scale replica of the RB7 Red Bull. And for those that are into Formula One, this was the 2011 car for Red Bull. This one's Sebastian Vettel's, and then his teammate at the time, was Mark Webber. This would have been a 2.4 or 2.5 V8. I mean, this one hasn't got a V8 in it, but it has got a real engine, a nitro, but there's a piston that goes up and down, there's fuel that goes in it. And the engines in these things would have revved to like between, I don't know, 16 and maybe 19,000 RPM. When you hear this nitro start up, it's actually a very good sound to go with this car. So these are actually made by Kyosho uh, and they were part of a magazine series. I can't remember the name of the company. Anyway, this was one of them build series where you buy like 200 episodes of a magazine and at the end of it, you end up with, well, in this case, a Nitro RC car. A lot of them are just like normal cars, like static models, but this was an actual fully functioning radio controlled car and I'm getting covered in Nitro. So fully functioning front and rear suspension. As you can see by the front, the suspension very scale. Replica Pirelli P0 tires. I think you can get the different compounds as well. Replica Oz racing wheels. Full air on this as well with a rear diffuser. And the driver's head is actually the air filter. <laughs> oh, we need a new pipe on there. Now this one, it is the same as the one Kev got from Jason at Redfin. However, this one's fitted with a click start, I think it's called. So no need for any hassle of having to take the body off to pull start it. You can see the drive shaft to the rear there. So it's rear wheel drive, your brakes in there, throttle servo, and then your steering servo up there. There's your motor, can't remember the spec. Is it a 21? There's all your rear suspension there. And then there's the front so the front's been raised up a bit from stock because it almost like drags on the floor i'm gonna raise the rear up before i take it out because as you can see the rear is quite soft and it just drags these are designed for like a super smooth surface and i haven't got many super smooth surfaces around here i'll show you it started and i'm gonna give it its first maiden run we're just gonna go gently with it and then the plan is maybe in the summer I'm going to take this along with the guys that sold me this. They've got a few as well. We'll try and get Kev down if he's in the country, but we're going to take these and run around a proper track. Anyway, let's get this thing started. It sounds so good. So good. You ready to hear this? So all I have to do is press that button and it will start. Ready? Ta da! How cool does that sound? I think we need to take it out and give it a run. I'm a bit worried about the switch being under here. If a stone catches it, we may be in trouble. Right, start you up. The steering is really bad. I need to sort it out. I think it needs a new servo, but... Oh. Why does it keep stalling that? It wasn't stalling in the workshop. Well, I wonder if they'll put the wheels on too tight. Here we go then. Yeah, I'd put one of the wheels back on too tight. Whoa. It is uh, slippery. <laughs> Whoa. Let's get some heat in them tires, Seb. 
Yeah, steering is terrible. Definitely uh, no grip on this surface. <laughs> Let's go really slow. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Try as I might, I could not get this thing to hook up. I mean, you could just about drive it on like a quarter throttle. As soon as you added any throttle to it, it just spun the rear end round. Definitely needs some tweaking. So I gave up trying to drive it and just concentrated on getting some cool shots. wasn't looking. I looked down to check that my camera was recording. He's lost the front wing. Well, at least it's realistic to F1, I guess. Can he make it back to the pits? Go on, Seb, back to the pits. First of all, what a knob. <laughs> I can't believe I crashed it right at the end. For some reason, I thought my camera might not be recording, so I looked down to check it. By the time I looked up, it was going for the curb. Luckily though, I think you can get spares. Oh, they're quite expensive. But anyway, you can get spares. And about 24 hours after I received this one, I managed to get hold of another one. It's got spare body. I don't think it's got spare wings, but it's got spare body. Um, I think it's never been run. The only issue is it was in Belgium. I think it was Belgium. But luckily I got it sent to my mum who lives in France. I'm gonna go and collect it next month. So I've got this one, I've got a spare, and I definitely think we need to wait till the summer. Obviously that surface wasn't great and the tires just wouldn't hook up. I mean, they did after a while, but I think if we wait until the temperature is a bit warmer, go and find some nice black top uh, and this thing might grip up. Definitely need to sort the steering servo out. I think it rubs down there as well. So I need to sort the steering out. It seems to run fine. I couldn't get full throttle because well, as you saw, it just kept sliding out, but it seems to run nice. It just needs the suspension tweaking, the steering tweaking, and we need to find some grip. But overall, <laughs> what a cool car. And I expect most people that bought them just enjoyed building them, collecting the magazines, reading all the info on it and looking at them on a the shelf. Cause I mean, doesn't look great without that front wing, but it's a good looking RC car, isn't it? Anyway, that's it for this video. If you're a Formula One fan, let me know in the comments who you're rooting for in 2024.